differences between the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 2.5K and the Blackmagic Production Camera 4K from the exterior look very, very similar. The cameras are the same weight and look the same. Um, however, inside the camera there are a few main differences. The main one being that in the 4K camera we have a global shutter and a larger sensor which is a Super 35mm sensor. Um, when you start to look at the dynamic range, the dynamic range in the 2.5K is slightly greater by being 13 stops of dynamic range as opposed to the 11 stops of dynamic range which is in the 4K camera. Um, when you start to look at the codex, we've got some similarities, both have ProRes, however in the 2.5K camera you have an uncompressed RAW, whereas it's a visually lossless RAW which is in the uh, 4K. The reason for that is obviously the 4K file sizes are much greater, but by putting this in a visually lossless wrapper we're able to reduce those file sizes quite considerably. Also in the 2.5K camera there's, there's DNX HD, which is great if you're working within an avid work environment. A lot of people have been asking us about the delivery date on the Blackmagic production camera 4K. Um, on the 4th of September we actually announced um, a, an official statement on our website which said that we would be delivering the camera within around about three to four weeks. Um, we're very confident that in the final process of calibration we should be able to deliver, those date, deliver to those dates. Recently we announced a new firmware update for all pocket cinema cameras that are currently in the market which um, affects um, some of the issues that were arising around the black dots. Um, that now has been eradicated by this, by this new um, firmware. Um, some other questions that have been asked of us as well are about some blooming issues in light. Um, what we realised from the small number of cameras that this was being displayed on was that it was, um, it was something that could be easily qualified and easily uh, rectified by us actually recalibrating liberating those cameras. So anybody that might be seeing those effects in their cameras, if they contact Blackmagic Design, we can have those cameras returned to us, we can do a quick change and then obviously return them back to you. We're not seeing this in all cameras, so there's a good chance that if you already own one of those, that there won't be any issue for you there.